Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another reading which is going to be for the sign of Virgo. Topic of the reading is, will the two of you end up together? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever it is that you have on your mind and you really want to know, will the two of you will end up together, yes or no? Then this reading is definitely going to help you know the answer to that. I will be adding um, oracle cards in this reading as well, so stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. And uh, for personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my mail ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, where goes? Let's see. Will the two of you end up together, whoever it is that you have on your mind, Let's see, will the two of you end up together, yes or no? <clears throat> Death, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, <clears throat> Ten of Swords, The Fool and the Two of Wands. I need the deck, we do have the will. I don't see that happening, to be very honest. I feel like, you know, there is going to be somebody new coming in your life uh, that you're going to be having a future with. Um, this connection that you are currently in or that you are checking this read for, it seems like, you know, this connection is there to make you learn a few things. And I feel like, you know, it could have been a karmic connection that you were in and maybe you thought of it to be soulmate. So it's, it's more of that energy is what I'm picking up. Um, the person, the connection that you are dealing with right now or the one that you are watching this read for, maybe it's an ex that you are watching it for and you really want to know, will the two of you will end up together? I feel like, you know, this connection is bound to end. Um, but this connection is going to make you learn a lot of things um that that you are going to take uh you know um the lesson from and move forward in your life with the one that uh to the one that you're designed to be with so definitely this person is not the one that you're going to be ending up with for sure um i feel like you know um I do see that you have uh, had a lot of expectations out of this connection, but uh, it is it, is, it has become toxic with every passing day of uh, the way things have been happening between the two of you. You always wish this connection to go stable. You always wish this connection to become beautiful, but it never happened. And I feel like, you know, you and this person will definitely um, fall apart for sure. And I feel like, you know, this person is going to um, make you feel that... Uh, This descending is inevitable and it's going to make you think of the person that you are destined to be with. Um, it is going to make you realize your worth, one thing. It is going to make you realize that you're, um, you know, um, deserving of uh, something that you always wanted out of this person, out of this connection. It's, it's more of that situation. You have always been looking for love from a wrong person, from a wrong situation. This person who was your karmic, who is your karmic, is somebody that you have to leave behind. To have the person who you are destined to be with, who is going to love you, value you for who you are, who's going to make you know that you are worthy of love. This person, whoever it is that you are going to be with, it's going to be, um, <clears throat> it's going to enter in your life once you have break free from this connection. And this, you know, the the shittiest cycle that you might have been uh, ever in, in any relationship. So I feel like it's high time that you end the toxicity that you are feeling right now with this person and move on with your life this person this situation will not change your expectation from this person is wrong um this was this is this will be the karmic you have to heal and move on and then you are going to meet the one that you're destined to be with underneath the deck we do have the well the six of swords the nine of cups i feel like in you know, this connection like i said earlier it is going to make you a strengthened uh, person like you know it's going to help you become the better version of you not just that this this connection is going to make you understand one more thing that this is the kind of uh, relationship that you will never want this is the kind of situation that you will never wish to be in again this is the kind of relationship and uh, you know emotional uh, um, struggle that you had with this person is something that you would never ever give into like you know you really don't want to be a part of any shitty connection any longer so you will choose to move on from this person from this connection this situation towards a better future and you know that this was the last and the only worst uh you know um 
situation that you dealt with you don't want to deal with any shitty situation any further so you will be choosing to walk away from this person you might have already chosen to do that for some of you but yes you will be meeting the one after you end this connection which is becoming toxic um for very few of you like maybe for one or two maybe um as you will end this connection up there is a possibility because it's a general beat there is a smallest possibility for some of you to have a reconciliation with the same person uh but for majority of you i feel like you know it's going to be a good decision if you walk away from this person forever because this person does not deserve you uh you might um get entrapped again with the same person uh if if you don't put your guards up against any situation that this person brings you back into because it seems like you know they want to keep you hold um you know uh they want to keep you stuck um and they don't want to give you much in this connection so if you really want to have something you really have to take stand for yourself and take stand for what you believe in uh when it comes to your love life because this person whoever it is that you have been with this person for majority of you for 99% of you this person is a karmic one um so uh, let's see what is the uh, oracle guidance for you around the situation this connection that you have with your person right now and will the two of you end up together <clears throat> you are protected codes are being cut move beyond limitation trust again uh god has not made it happen as of now because you are being saved from the wrong person from a, a narcissist attitude of a person and if it didn't work out believe in the process believe in the divine timing as you break free from this connection as you break free from this uh, toxicity out of you know as you kick this toxicity out of your life you will see the blessings coming in so cords needs to cut for sure so and then trust the divine timing around it and move beyond the limitation maybe for some of you you might have imposed some limitations on yourself that uh, no maybe you'll never find love again maybe you're not worthy of it stop being in that limited mind frame and uh try to let new person in let love in your life and um then we do have the universe is with you we are a clock of protection and love it's very important for you to understand that you are being saved the universe is with you and you have to protect yourself you have to believe that you are worthy of love affection that you seek that you want this person might not get it uh you know get uh, get it get that for you so you need to move on from the situation that you're currently dealing with it's time for you to move on as what i'm picking up let's see what else is coming up for you guys for this read are the two of you this time to be together trust love this is the romance of life uh, true love this is the romance of a lifetime I feel like, you know, again, for majority of you, this is going to be a new person coming in your life. This is not the one that you're dealing with. This is not the true love that you believe. True love will make you feel happy, not like this. True love is going to make you feel like, you know, abundant, not like this. True love is not going to, you know, upset you, keep you up at night for no good reason. The true love always fills your heart with so much peace that you don't have worries left. So if this person gives you that inner peace, adds that stability to you, then that could be the one. And again, it is not going to be for majority of you. It is going to be for hardly 1% of you who are going to watch it or maybe one person uh, as well where where this could be the one for you where this person could be the love of your life but for majority of you this person is not the true love this person is a karmic and you've got to break free from that um let's take some more cards let's see what else do we have for you for this read <clears throat> you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself i feel like you know, for majority of you, you really have to believe that you're worthy of love for majority of you you are stuck in this connection because you feel like you know um you deserve this person trust me you don't deserve this person you deserve loving person you deserve loving connection you deserve fulfilling relationship this person is somebody that you you know this person that you're currently dealing with is exactly not how you want them to be this person is somebody that you want to change to become the one that you want like you know for instance like you know if if you like this person you love this person but this person treating you like shit right now that's the reason why you're having that pain and suffering and the image that you hold of this person is something that you desire this person is not at all how you desire them to be this person is somebody completely opposite to that and then you think you hope you visualize you you uh, try to create the new version of this person um to be them 
in, in your reality in coming days to weeks time. But with this mindset, with this negativity where you believe that you are not, you know, you're not going to get a better one. You're not deserving of that love. It will not happen. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you are worthy of beautiful uh, connection. You have to build the self-confidence in you to have the love that you seek, to have the love that you desire, to get this person commit to you, give you value. You have to value yourself. This person is adding nothing good in your life right now, but something really upsetting and shitty to you in your life. And um, I feel like you know, it's high time you choose for yourself. Does this person add to your happiness? Yes or no? If they do, then go ahead. If they don't, then uh, it's time for you to break free from them. <clears throat> again, this card again suggests the same thing. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life. Now, for the majority of you, this person could have been adding nothing good to your life. Just uh, adding a lot of stress, a lot of uh, imbalance in your life. If you really want balanced relationship you really have to find the balance from within and stop obsessing over this person if this person is not giving you the happiness that you seek then trust me this is not the person that you want that you desire trust me this is um you know the image that you hold in your mind is not of this person it's a more like an ideal that you have in your mind that an ideal person should be treating you like this and this and then what happens is you see this person who is exactly the opposite so try to move on move beyond what you are expecting out of this connection you will see exact that image that you hold in your heart in your mind about a specific someone about the ideal figure you will meet that person as you move on as you acknowledge the fact that you're worthy of love you have that confidence in yourself that yes you are gonna get that kind of person that kind of relationship in your life then only you will find the one that you have been looking for and trust me this is not the one this is a karmic connection that you have to break free from to have the love of your life so that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it helped you do like share and subscribe till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye